Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday as usual. The past week has been pretty cool. Uh, first off, thanks to all those uh, birthday wishes from last week. Uh, very much appreciated. You guys are awesome. And then also, uh, last week I made a shooting board for last week's video, but it was mainly for my neighbor. He let me borrow his number 608 jointing plane. I lightly restored it, got all the rust off, sharpened the blade and made a shooting board for it to give back to him with the plane. And Sunday I gave it to him and he was thrilled about it. He's going to actually put it to good use, which was the main purpose anyway. And in exchange, he, let, he said I could have the um, Stanley Bailey number seven uh, that I also lightly restored, corrugated bottom, um, also lightly restored it. So. Naturally, if this is now mine, which was super cool to begin with, I had to make another shooting board. So I made another one for this guy, and this is going to be one that I'll keep here in the shop. Pretty much the exact same thing that I did in, in last week's video, except it's a couple inches more narrow on this side because my piece of plywood that I had for the top wasn't that wide. So I just trimmed it down. That's fine, it'll do the job just fine. Now also, the piece up here, I'm using zebra wood, and I just put a little coat of shellac on these faces just to make it uh, pop a little bit. But the zebra wood, the reason I went with this is, again, it's a nice, hard, dense wood, but also, when I got my lathe, a good friend of mine, Wayne Brown, gave me a bunch of small little exotic cutoffs, and, um, I haven't used this particular piece. It's just been sitting up there waiting for a specific use. And I figured, you know what? This will do the job just fine. And it looks pretty cool. So, zebra wood. Uh, other than that, it's the exact same. Now, two things that were extremely common on the video. Um, number one was, why isn't the plain blade chewing up the side of this platform as it's in use? Um, it is, but it isn't. It is until it bottoms out, and where it will bottom out is on the bottom, because this plane blade, the iron, does not extend the full width. There is a side piece of the mouth where the blade sticks out, this little side piece down here. It will prevent the plane from going in this direction as it is bottomed out. So as this is dropped down into place, whatever that is, maybe a half of an inch or five-eighths of an inch, with this being a three quarter inch platform, that much will be trimmed up, but that's it. Let's just say that this blade is sticking out one millimeter. Well, it'll, it will remove that one millimeter, that full depth of the blade, where the blade is touching. And again, it's not touching all the way to the bottom because there is some section of the plane still exposed down here, and that will prevent it from moving. Uh, another thing that was common was um, this being a rather large plane. Well, the other one was even bigger than that. You, know, you don't have one that big. Well, as I said, you could use any particular piece or any particular plane that you want. You could even use a little block plane like this. This is a rabbiting block plane, but I have this side of the blade set flush with the side of the plane. So, I mean, you can use this if you really wanted to. It, it doesn't, you don't have to have a huge plane in order to, to benefit from a shooting board. Another question was why did I use three quarters of an inch material? Um, could I not have just used something that is taller than the distances from this edge of the plane body to the blade, like a quarter inch piece of plywood? Uh, yeah, you can, but the way that plane blades are sharpened, uh, in my case, this is pretty much a straight edge with a slight camber on each side so that the middle section is what is pretty much dead flat and these edges kind of taper back so that you don't have uh, points leaving trail marks in your, in your material. So that means that the center, maybe one third or two thirds of the blade is pretty much the flattest point of the blade. So if this is down there just a little bit, then it, your material is more likely to be in the center of the blade than say if this was elevated by only quarter inch. Hope that, hopefully that makes sense. <clears throat> so beyond the shooting board video, um, I did record a couple tool talk videos last week. I haven't edited them yet. I'm going to hopefully get those done and scheduled for a little bit later release. Trying to get ahead of things for the fourth quarter of this year. 
And then also this week I, I could possibly have two videos. Um, I'd like to first off tackle my pantry. Uh, that's been on the honeydew list for a long time. Since we moved into this place, our pantry in the kitchen has been very inefficient. The previous owner just put some of those wire shelving system things in there and um, it's there's way too much space for every single shelf so you can't really uh, utilize that space unless you stack stuff and then when you do stack stuff there it's too much weight for the wire the wire frame so it sags in the middle so everything kind of leans in and it just needs to be redone and I'm gonna make more shelves and kind of like a horseshoe design into the pantry um, I'd like to tackle that this week uh, but I know for sure I'm gonna have a multi-part video with Tyler G. When I was in Michigan, we shot a couple videos in his shop and one of them was a project and I was, we, were, we were trying to get the entire project done while I was up there that, that particular day. Just ran out of time. So it's gonna be a split series video kind of where like the first half of the project is on my channel, the second half is on his channel. Uh, I wish we could have got the entire thing done but just ran out of time. So that that's uh, definitely gonna be this week. And other than that, that's all I got. So you guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.